welcome, welcome, and good, 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 good morning. I'm kind of waking up myself, actually. So, what I thought I would do is, um, in this video, is list a few movies that are cheesy, but at the same time, they're really good ones to watch um, around Halloween and this month in general. Um, the first one that we're going to talk about is called uh, The Haunted. It, it is considered to be an indie, um, you know, thriller, suspenseful movie. Um, I... I personally, I've seen it a few times. Um, it's de it's definitely different from your average movie, uh, with with suspense and thrills and thrills. But it does have a decent cast. Um, it was directed by the same guy that directed, um, you know, movies like um, Puppet Master and a few other, you know, um, movies as well. But um, I would say, you know, give it a give it an opportunity. It's on Amazon Prime. Um I I'd say it it's probably like about a 6, honestly. Um there are some like gory stuff in it, but it's kind of more like cheesy, honestly. Um it's not like, you know, violent by any means compared to like, you know, some of like Rob Zombie's movies, for example. Um the other one that I thought was pretty decent too is a movie called The Innkeeper, um, which is another kind of like low budget thriller movie. Um, but the plot is really interesting if if you like it. Um, the other one I'm going to mention is The Village. Um, it's directed by the same guy that directed Lady in the Water um, and a bunch of other movies as well. Um, pretty solid movie. Um, uh, it does get kind of repetitive though during the middle of the movie so you might want to just like take a break and you know pop some popcorn eat some candy or take a break you know smoke a cigarette or you know maybe call somebody or something like that um some people didn't like that movie i thought it was kind of interesting my per personal one of my favorites honestly that he's ever directed um the other one i'm going to talk about is a movie called pumpkin head um it's pretty weird in the sense that like some of the things in the movie um you have to kind of pay attention to it honestly to catch like the storyline and things like that but it's really not not that bad of a movie i think they made like three or four of them i can't remember um and um i'm off track here um the next few movies I'm going to talk about are more popular in the sense that people have actually, you know, probably seen them. And that's the Underworld series. Um, I think that those movies are, are pretty damn awesome. Um, I've never seen a bad movie in that franchise. Um, I would say check it out. Um, I think on Crackle you can watch the first two, I believe. Um, okay, so we're moving from that to um, another movie that people might not know about and that's The Haunting in Connecticut 1 and 2. I think that those movies are pretty decent. Some people um, you know don't like um, movies like that but um, I, I don't think it's that terrible by any means. Um, another quick franchise uh, that we're going to talk about is Amityville Horror. Um, I think, like, the original movie is really decent. Um, frankly, even I watch it to this day, and it, and it still kind of creeps me out, some of the stuff that's in it. Um, the original um, is is a classic. I mean, you, you really can't go wrong with that movie. Um, it, it's not necessarily even that scary compared to what people think is scary in movies now honestly it's it's definitely like tone it down compared um and let's um you know there, there's a few other movies i'm going to talk about real fast um gingerbread man the gingerbread man 
Uh, they've made several different sequels to it. Um, I think the original one is is by far better than the the, the spinoffs. I mean, it's it's just it's not really even that scary. It's kind of just funny with some of the stuff that's in it. Um, the next one I'm going to talk about is Troll One and Two. Um, if you've never seen either one of those, I would say go ahead and check them out. They're they're pretty good movies. Troll Two by far is is it's just funny. It's not even scary. Like there's so much humor in it, um, especially the scene with with the evil wicked woman with the popcorn scene, uh, making out with a boy, in in the in the RV. That's a pretty funny scene. Um, I don't know. Troll Troll One and Two is just one of those franchises where everything is just kind of funny, honestly, and it it's not really even that scary to me. Um, the Leprechaun series, here we go. The first Leprechaun movie have Je has Jennifer Aniston in it. Um, that was one of her first roles. Um, I think that people need to just give it more of an opportunity. I'd say watch all of the movies, they're pretty good. I think that there was even a recent one that came out a few years ago. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I think that, um... That those are some some movies you guys might not know about. Um, there's a movie called Hatchet, uh, which is kind of cheesy too, but it's actually fairly funny. It's a good horror movie. Um, you know, I, I'd give that movie higher ratings than some of the other ones, probably like maybe an eight, eight point five. Um, some of the the stuff in that movie is just hilarious. Honestly, it's not even that scary. Um, and let's, uh, one other movie I was going to quickly talk about, um, The Leverage Files, there we go, okay, there's a movie called The Leverage Files, um, it's shot very similar to, like, Paranormal Activity and Blair Witch and things like that, um, essentially it's about three college students that go on vacation they go to his parents lake house um and there's basically some weird f following of a farm religious cult that basically is hunting them throughout the whole entire movie and basically this guy's like a crazy priest and he's been trying to like basically raise the dead <laughs> um it's kind of an indie film in the sense of that people probably didn't know about it because it wasn't really very popular. I think that it might have been released in like, you know, Sundance Festival or something like that. Um, the last movie I'm going to talk about is a movie called Clown. And um, as we know, my history, I don't like movies that involve scary clowns. Um, I actually watched part of this movie and I got freaked out by it because it was just really, really freaking creepy. Um, so I watched like 15 minutes of it and then I was like, okay, I'll review it, but I'm not watching the rest of this. Screw this. Um, basically it's, it's on Netflix if you want, if you want to watch it. Um, I didn't really understand part of the movie because I didn't watch the whole entire thing, but essentially it's a, it's about a guy that, um, basically pisses off somebody at a carnival um and then he is cursed where he's d eventually turns into like a psychopathic clown who goes on like a killing spree um so basically to to get rid of the curse apparently he has to like basically kill like 25 people on halloween night or something like that it's really really weird but um if you like you know weird weird bizarre things you might be into it um i'm trying to think here what was the other movie that i recently watched that was pretty decent um hang on here i gotta look at my list do 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 how's everybody doing by the way oh okay yes that makes perfect sense okay Puppet Master, okay, one, two, and three, and blah, 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 beyond. Um, I think that 
uh, those movies are cheesy, but I think that they're definitely worth checking out. Um, uh, I, I wouldn't even probably say that they're up as far as Underworld by far. It, with Underworld is like way far advanced compared to that movie, but um, Puppet Master, I would say it's worth checking out. It's not anything that's going to scare you or whatever. Um, and the last one movie that we're going to review that's on the list is a movie card called blah sorry early in the morning um dark ride which is a lion gate horror movie about a carnival ride and a escaped psychopathic killer who apparently is related to one of the victims it is his brother who is going on a killing spree, killing his friends who sneak into the carnival. Um, by far, this is probably one of the best Lion Gate horror movies I've honestly ever seen. Um, I think it's better than um, probably any other movie I've seen in that genre. I think it's up there um, probably with like Saw. Um, speaking of Saw actually real fast um who out there is excited for the jigsaw movie um and are there any fans of the series um i like just about all the saw movies i think that um if you've never watched them definitely check them out um they were all on hulu actually and then they decided randomly to take them off which i don't understand why it would make more sense to actually have them on there since the new movie is coming out darty dar dar um netflix doesn't have uh i think they have like the first two now but hulu had every single one actually so i don't know what happened there um i don't know i like saw because it's it's suspenseful. Um, it keeps you going. It keeps your brain your brain working on what's really going on and who's evil and who's not and who's not bad. And um, the cast has always been really good with the series and every single movie. I can't say I've seen a bad Saw movie. Um, and let's think here. Oh yeah. Okay. We'll we'll talk we'll talk about this franchise real fast too before I go. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, they recently just had the 40th anniversary of the movie. Um, I, I actually liked the original. Some people thought it was kind of cheesy and stuff like that, but I, I thought it was pretty well directed. Um, definitely lots of good stuff in it. Um, even the more modern movies I thought were pretty good. Um... Like, the Leatherface movie, I'm kind of interested in what they're going to be doing with that because um, there's so many people who are fans of the series to where I really hope they're not going to ruin it. Um, so those are some movies I'm kind of looking forward to, The Jigsaw and Texas Chainsaw. Um, and I still can't figure out why um, they keep talking about this new Halloween movie that's supposed to be released, but we've got no information yet as far as when we're going to get it, when it's supposed to be released. Um, I mean, John Carpenter's already signed on for it. They already have, like, a script. Um, but nothing's really happened with it yet, so I can't figure out what's going on. I mean, I've been looking online, like, everywhere and there's been, like, no release dates. Unless they're finally going to be filming it soon, I don't know. Kind of like with the Friday the 13th, like, what happened with that, too? Like, why are we getting that? We were supposed to get a new movie, and that never happened either. So, anybody, anyways, anyways, be safe, enjoy your day, and... If you guys want to check out any of these movies, go ahead. I would say most of them are pretty decent. Um, and you guys have a spooky, spooky day.